North Carolina's new 12 week abortion ban takes effect this summer. Lawmakers voted to override Governor Roy Cooper's veto last night. The move restricts the procedure eight weeks earlier than the state's current ban. We have teen coverage on the controversial law. Anse Baracko explains why Virginia could feel the consequences. But we start with Emily Harrison. She breaks down what's changing in North Carolina on July 1st. The new North Carolina law bans elective abortions after the first trimester, except in cases of rape, incest, or if the mother's life is in danger. Here in North Carolina, some are calling the new legislation common sense, while others say it will only hurt women. I, I just think that it's ridiculous. Um, we should be able to choose. An already divisive topic is splitting people further as people in North Carolina react to the new 12 week ban, now a law in their state. Abortion is killing, it's murder. A supermajority in the state's House and Senate override a veto by Governor Roy Cooper. A key vote in pushing the bill into law is Trisha Cotham, a Democrat turned Republican who voted for the bill after spending years as a pro-choice advocate. Well, I was at the General Assembly last night and it was a pretty ruckus when, when the decision came down. Dr. Bill Pincus with North Carolina's Right to Life applauded the new law and says what many people don't realize is that it also offers more funding for child care services and for paid parental to leave. However, others say they wish these benefits were not a part of the 12 week abortion ban. Well, if it wasn't attached to abortion, then yeah, I mean, we need it anyway. In Elizabeth City, I'm Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. Governor Cooper denounced the General Assembly's decision to override his veto. He released a statement on Twitter reading in part, strong majorities, majorities rather, of North Carolinians don't want right-wing politicians in the exam room with women and their doctors. 